Bonjour everyone, this is Jenny Cato Natural. Welcome to my channel. Today is Vida Day 4 and I would like to talk about Essence Magazine that I've just received yesterday. This is the Essence Magazine for this month and um, there was three different covers that I've seen online. It's either you choose Lettuce or Lettuce, I'm not too sure how to pronounce her name, Solange Knowles or you can choose uh, Erica Badu as a cover, but they talk about all three of them inside. I was really happy that they were talking about um, the fibroids, since I was dealing with the fibroids for the, fi the past uh, five years. This is like um, a woman named Hilary Bird, and she what she basically I think she wrote a book and she she won a prize with the NAACP. Yeah, I was dealing with fibroids. I had a successful myomectomy. And I would say successful because if you don't have a successful myomectomy, if you're losing too much blood while they do the operation, they have to remove the whole uterus, which becomes a hysterectomy. And you cannot have any more children. And since I do not have children, I'm not trying to conceive right now, but I do not have children for the moment. So I, would, I wanted to preserve my uh, uterus. I, I asked to have a myomectomy. In the story, she had the myomectomy, and she talked about like different um, different type of surgery that you can have or alternative treatments that you can have to avoid having the fibroids to grow or things like that. The only thing that I do not really agree with is the soy. You can do your research and do the pearls and the con if you want to, but for me, the soy was just too much. Uh, I try to have as less soy as possible because it's not good for me or my fibroids. And there was a second story also about the woman that uh, she had fertility issues with her husband and they found that it was uh, the fibroids basically. So she had not only one, two, but three myomectomy surgeries. I'm not gonna talk too much about, about it, but uh, in relation to me, I was dealing with the fibroids in 2009 and I had a myomectomy surgery. I was able to find a right OBGYN for me and I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna see him again in May just to, you know, do the regular checkup to see if the, fi the new fibroids that I have, if they grew. If you go to my blog, you're gonna see my story, uh, MissJanesUniverse.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description box and you're gonna see my uh, story about the fibroids that was in 2009. So when I was doing research on YouTube, I wasn't doing research about natural hair. Even though I was transitioning, I wasn't doing research because I was mostly concerned about the fibroids. The fibroids is really something that can change your life. It changes your perspective. People say, you know, just have the surgery and you'll be fine, but it really does affect you in others, other areas, not only um, not only you know physically but mentally and all that because after that I was trying to uh, I was trying to find the right partner to you know start making a family and things like that and I was just focused on that so I lost track of the music and I lost track of what I was doing before I started being sick so I'm still like, dealing with it but you know it's it's um, a day-to-day -day thing my period is much better this month uh, well last month was much better since I changed um, my uh, vitamins and um, yeah I try to eat more healthy more um, more green less meat less carbs less sugar especially chicken which was really hard because I really really love chicken but I had to stop eating chicken or have it once in a while because whatever you eat your fiber is gonna eat also it's almost like a baby and I used to have 13 fibers in the beginning one was as large as um, watermelon which was really big I really looked like I was like six months pregnant but anyway if you want to know more about my story and it's in the archives and um, my blog um, 
I'm still gonna have to update because I receive a lot of letters and I'm really thankful for all the people who wrote on my blog who still have issues and also yeah what I would say also in relation to the magazine is to avoid stress as much as possible avoid the stress I had to move I had to get rid of all the negative people around me I had to change my mentality I had to really it's a really big process because you don't want them to come back you don't want to deal with that you want to have a normal life I would like to have a bikini by my birthday it's been five years and my weight is always fluctuate like up and down but um, yeah I'm still keeping the smile and um, do my best when it's you know when the health is possible I do my best and when it's not you know I'm, I try not to stress too much about it I just you know I just it's you know certain days it's good certain days it's bad so when it's bad I just relax and pray and read when it's good I go 100% and nothing can stop me but thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up the video uh, leave me a comment I'll see you guys tomorrow